As no, we said we were going to start off with the boss. Um, we've located where I missed the, um... Constable trousers? No. Old hunter trousers. Old hunter trousers, no. constable trousers? The constable trousers. The constable okay. set. Is that you said look for the trousers, okay? So I looked for the trousers. And guess what? I found trousers. I did get those trousers. I was like, I read the description up there while getting those trousers. You said look for the trousers. I found the trousers. They just weren't the ones you wanted. <laughs> you little diva. <laughs> I have those trousers. <laughs> I can't wear my constable set. I'm master of the league with no pants. <laughs> Alright, while we're correcting technical difficulties, I'm now heading to uh, the boss. And we'll begin. I want to get the boss weapon, and then we'll go do the cave that I skipped. Right. That I did skip the cave. So this run... Right there. So... 36? Yeah, 36. 36 is the constable trousers. Oh! So bridge over the river of blood. Okay, then. so that's... Those are the three blood liquors? Because uh, this is the path out of there. It'll... should say... Right here, um, upstream. It's a large group of blood liquors near a cliff at the back of the area. You can proceed to ignore them and head straight to the nearby tunnel. If you want a piece of constable to tire their guarding, however, you need to kill them all. Okay, you so I did run them. past those, and that's what they were guarding. Okay. Yes. So you gotta kill the blood liquors. Well, we're gonna be heading back that way when I'm, I'm ready to go through the, um, uh, to the cave. I think they called it the party cave on uh, Two Best Friends Play. Because <laughs> they died there so many times. Um, oh, it's no joke. That cave is no joke. I'm going to um, go to that cave after getting the weapon that I want for the playthrough. So I at least have that as an option. Crap. Things have gone bad. Things... Why don't you turn around? Why don't you forget this happened? I'm going to take a moment and take some things off my toolbar before I accidentally call a snake upon myself. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that would work in Ludwig's path. <laughs> the next boss is going to be Ludwig. So, again, you know, you, you should know that because we're spoiling everything. Uh, all right, let's try this again. All right. Give me some blood vials. Those guys also give you a lot of blood vials, so they are worth the fight. Okay, we're going to come back here, and it is time. What? <laughs> Do I... Did I screw up by killing him? The younger Madras brother? That I can't summon him? I'm just gonna... Excuse me. While I look through the book <laughs> of answers. <laughs> I mean, I know that makes, like, total logical sense in every other, you know, situation where you're like, uh, you killed him? Why did you think you could summon him for help? You killed him. And then I'm just gonna say Bloodborne. That's my response to that. You cannot summon him if you have already killed him outside the small windmill or are not wearing the impurity ring. Okay, then. Well, I am wearing the impurity room, because here's... Now he is about to hear the beast eater. Yes, because... and he is more powerful in his beast eater form. Um, and I think that is because he's going to come in without the bucket helmet. And you're going to see, he has no problem with his eyes. I think that's because we are summoning him from a different time. Not that he was always this well underneath. Um, and also... 
You notice his league salute, right? He mm -hmm. put his hand over his heart. We do as well now. That's just a really cool thing. Um, so, uh, before the uh, woman rings the sinister bell and we get an invader, let's go say hi to Ludwig. Not looking too great there, Ludwig. <laughs> Alright, we'll try fire first. Okay. Let's try... Oh yeah, I'm going with my uh, enchanted weapons. Or uh, my Blades of Mercy. They're not... They're arcane. I'm dead. Now, uh, I got him summoned in. We may actually have to do this fight with no one summoned in. Um, because he makes the bosses have significantly more health. Um, and... He's basically gonna die phase two no matter what. Alright? Like... The AI is not really set to handle, um, I need to back away and heal. The new, um, NPCs will heal decently, unlike Gascoigne. That's why I was surprised Gascoigne didn't actually start healing. Oh, he killed the little, uh, Skeleton guy, that's what the 313 health bar was. That wasn't, uh... I can't see where I'm at. So if the little skeleton guy lives, um, he will laugh. Um, if he lives and never got killed in this entire fight. Yeah, that's a thing. He spits. Not nice. Alright, we trigger him to half. This is something that didn't happen much in the main game, but you get a half way cutscene. But it's worth it for this. <laughs> At this point, you do not want to be in front of him. My guiding moonlight. <laughs> and Valtier will just happily stay in front of him and get wrecked. Alright, that's bad. Let's back away. Oh, shit. Crap, I don't want to be in front of him. And that's exactly where I'm at. Nice, I got a visceral. I don't know exactly what part of his body I did that on. Ah, uh, crap. Don't do that at me, dude. 
Do that about here. Actually, about here. Oh, now you're gonna die. I was about to compliment you on not dying. It's better than he usually does. Because he usually does. The stairs can really mess up the AI of uh, Ludwig. Shit. Don't die. Baltier, man. Clutch it. Clutch it, dude. Nice. Huh. Dude. Didn't die. Didn't die. That is nice. I have not had him make it through. Uh, but then again, I've never fought him um, with Valtir. Because normally I need that vermin you get from the boss fight um, to to get him to five. It sucks about the uh, twin, but it's good enough. And it sucks about you. Sorry, dude. Um, we would be able to talk to you and you could just laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. Um... What's well, like this? There's someone we can talk to though. Yep, we're gonna talk to him in a second. I think, is there an item in the boss chamber up here? There is. Some blood vials. Alright. Here's the head of Ludwig. Remember, Ludwig is the um, person who takes over after Gearman for training the, the church hunters. Mm -hmm. Because I'm wearing Gascoigne's church outfit. I get this dialogue. The honorable Spartans. I hoped they would be. We actually want to refuse that statement if we want to see Simon's mm -hmm. second and third phases of his No, quest. no, no. You'll get Simon's all phases, no matter what your answer, because I've had them. They'll always happen. It says you he won't appear at the second or the third time if you don't say no. He has for me. And I've, I've said yes. I'm going to say no this time because I haven't done it. So uh, you can tell him yes. And what will happen is he will give you the Moonlight Sword. Um, and then he'll continue just to sit here and make horse sounds. And you can kill him if you want at that point. Um, you can kill him at any point and get the Moonlight Sword. So you're not really offering anything. So we're going to tell him no. We're actually going to tell him the truth that his hunters are kind of the, what the problem. They're part of the problem. Because we want to see Simon's interaction from this point. Oh, my. Just. I've never actually done this. Then a beast-possessed degenerate was I, as my detractors made eminently clear. So we basically pushed him into insanity, is what we did. And then I think we're supposed to leave and come back after he's been. Yeah. We got echoes. Boy, do we got echoes to spend. Um. And this is all he does from here on out. Okay. Now he could he could have just been resting and sleeping if we would have said yes. Right. He would have just sort of been there resting and sleeping. He'd still be alive unless we chose to kill him. I could choose to kill him now and get the sword. Um, but we want Simon to do his thing. <clears throat> and we have echoes. We oh, do we have echoes? I should at least get two levels because I've got so many. Um... Okay, I need one sixty-five, and the timing is perfect because. Farewell, good maid. Um. Mmm, it's gonna be tight if we can get 165. Um, <clears throat> what was I saying? I forgot, Rachel. Yeah, these are the small ones. These aren't gonna get me there. I don't know what you were saying. We're gonna be coming right back here, though. Um, to upgrade. So. I'll tell you what, let's make Valtier proud.
the undead corpse pile. So Simon has caught up to us. And you can see here um, an arrow has been shot and killed Ludwig. Uh, and that Simon, that is what he welds. He welds a bow. You won't find that out until later. Um, but that I can confirm from this that he is the one that killed Ludwig. Uh, the book says he is the one who kills Ludwig, so... A tragic figure. But he will shame himself no longer. He died with his ideals untarnished. He was a true hero. So there's a lot of respect from Simon. Here. Yeah. This is Ludwig's guiding light, the blinding thread that led and misled that consummate hero, the poor brute. Do you know why the hunters are drawn to this nightmare? Because it sprouted from their very misdeeds. Now we're getting into the sin. That some would rather keep secret. Pitiful tale of petty arrogance, really. High time someone exposed the whole charade. Now, now, you seek nightmares and the secrets within, do you not? I do. We're gonna head back a bit. Now, now, you seek. Because there's some stuff I've missed. I gotta get it. Um, we have. Uh, you know what? Let's just load it into the other room. Because uh, we have the Holy Moonlight Blade and I'm gonna be upgrading it. Oh, and I should have got some echoes. That was the whole point. I was like, I can get a few echoes before I go back in and be at 165. But I didn't. So I won't. So, um... Alright, let's take a look at the Holy Moonlight Blade. Because it's replacing my other weapon now. Holy Moonlight Sword. An arcane sword discovered long ago by Ludwig. When a blue moonlight dances around the sword and it channels the abysmal cosmos, its great blade will hurl a shadowy light wave. The Holy Moonlight Sword is synonymous with Ludwig, the Holy Blade, but few have ever set eyes on the Great Blade, and whatever guidance it has to offer, it seems to be of a very private, elusive sort. Okay, so this is an otherworldly sword that he found, mm -hmm. and it spoke to him. And as Simon said, maybe it led, maybe it misled him. You're not sure, like... A lot of them attribute it to it. Ludwig Sword, which is in the game, is a copy. It's not the real one. It's not the real sword. This is the real sword. Um, so this has a cool move set. Um, for one, it's a nice, fast, but staggering weapon. It has a great stabby charge attack, which is a great for getting behind the back viscerals. Okay, but the cool thing is the transform mode adds arcane damage to it, just like my blades do. So, because I have... Oh, and it shoots like his does. That cost a bullet, though. Um, but if you hit somebody with one of these charge attacks, it does insane amounts of damage. You get the damage of the bullet and the damage of the blade. Right? So... It's pretty sweet, and it gives me a nice, staggerable um, weapon. So I can go to my Blades of Mercy when I need speed, and I'm not worried about staggering, and then I can switch to this. Um, and as we see when I upgrade it... Urine's... Is he, is he snoozing? Over here? You, you snoozing, Gearman? No? Okay. You're just going to your happy place down by the tree. All right. Let's go ahead and use a workshop and uh, fortify this weapon. Actually, clean up my inventory. Not using. No, wait. 
There we go. I'm gonna keep that because it is my fire weapon. We're not using that, we're not using that. We're not using this, and we're not using this. Um, I do not need these or that torch. Okay. Let's upgrade this. Hopefully I can get to a plus eight, if not plus nine. I need a lot more chunks. Six. I need six chunks, which I'll get actually pretty quickly in the DLC. We'll start getting some chunks. They do at least give you a decent amount so you can upgrade here. Um, so here's the thing. <clears throat> right now, uh, let's see here in my stats. Um, it's damage rating. It's in my second slot. It's just seven points lower than my blades with their upgrades on. Um, so let's take a, a look here at this. So triangle slot, physical attack ups are the best, obviously, since it has an arcane component. Um... It scales mostly with strength and arcane, right? Arcane's a primary. That seems to be the best as it's gonna get, 160, okay. 91, that's pretty good. 200 is good. Ooh, I got a 17% up. Alright, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> so what I like doing is throw a gem in and then click them every time they go blue. I sort of be in a way to speed through. Um, gem additions. Okay. So we've got in this guy... Um... A physical 12, a physical 9, and a physical 17. In my Blades of Mercy, I've got an attack up 15, and then two physical 18s. And then this guy is saying that I'm already up to 568 doing damage-wise. Um, so I'm going to take them all out. I'm going to put the lower tier gems in this, because I am going to be using this more. Um, this one probably gets the blood gem. Okay, and I should have a physical 18. Uh, it goes into this, and then I think I got like another physical... No, I got an attack up. That's what I'm looking for. So 319, what does attack up do? I lose 10 points and I gain 20 in arcane. So we'll go with that. And then let's put back in some This scales more with um, skill. Oh, that's thrusting. Physical nine. And physical is working. <clears throat> then it does an arcane, so the uh, attack ups, instead of the all attack up, is worth more on the Ludwig sword. Okay, and one more here. So the lore reason 
why I want the Moonlight Sword is, um, they're not too bad. Um, is the Moonlight Sword is in every FromSoft game. All their RPGs and even like some of their mech games have like Moonlight Swords for the mechs. It was in, uh, I said I played the Kingsfield, the original Japanese, their very first game, and there's a Moonlight Sword in it. Um, so it's kind of a cool thing that they do of just like tying their games together. Doesn't necessarily mean they're all in the same universe. It's just like their sort of branding of, um, you know, we have this really cool weapon. So when we come back, uh, we're going to put this guy to use and go in the party cave.